Hi there, it's time again for another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me, taking time out of your busy schedules. So a little while back, I talked to you about a command called ncopy, and you could use that command to go inside of xrefs and blocks and DGN underlays and make copy of individual objects and use them other places in your drawing, for example, if you needed to. Now, the only problem with the ncopy command is that you had to pick the objects one at a time. Couldn't use windows, couldn't use crossing windows, fences, or any of that. One at a time, which is great if you get paid by the hour. <laughs> but if you don't, it was a bit of a drag. So I'm going to show you a way of going inside of XRefs, making copies of objects inside of XRefs, and being able to use the standard object selection method. So much easier, so much faster. Works great. So I happen to have an XRef in my drawing file. Let me just come in here and zoom in on this. And you'll see that if I select it, sure enough, it tells me that it's an XREF. Now, if you're using the context-sensitive ribbon, you'll see that it gives you all kinds of options of what you can do with XREFs. But even if you're not, not a problem, you can also grab them from the right-click menus. All right, because what I want to do with this is I want to edit the reference in place. So I'm going to go ahead and say edit the reference in place. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit an OK here. It's just, you know, making sure that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I, I think I know what I'm doing. So now I need to decide what are the objects that I want to make copies of so that I can use them other places in my drawings. And I'm going to zoom in on this and you'll see, hmm, I love this conference table. This is a great conference table. <laughs> I want to use it all over my drawing. I don't want to draw it again from scratch. I don't want to use Design Center to go get it. I just want to really quickly be able to grab these objects and use them inside of my drawing without messing up the XREF, right? Okay, I'm ready. Let's do a copy. So uh, let's do something clever. Let's do a uh, window polygon. Do you guys ever use that? It's great when you have kind of an odd shape, and I do have a bit of an odd shape here. So this is going to grab all of the objects inside of my window polygon. Perfect. Good shot. Not always a good shot. <laughs> so that's what I want to copy, right? And then all I have to do is select the base point, and I'm going to copy it right over here. So you just want to copy the objects over some place where you're absolutely sure you can get to them later on. You'll see why. All right, just find an empty space someplace. And if I had other objects, I could go grab those too while I'm at it. While I'm in here, grab all the objects that you want to make copies of so you can use them other places in your drawing. All right, so here's the trick. So we all know that you have to exit the in place XREF editing gracefully. <laughs> you probably all learned that the hard way. And it's not really always so clear. I can't just exit out of here. So before I save the changes, if you hit discard changes, your table will be gone. You'll have wasted your time. I'm going to say remove from the working set, and I'm going to grab all the objects that I just had, I just had selected. All right. So I'm going to do a couple windows this time. It won't be quite as creative as we were last time. Did we get everything? I think we did. So I'm going to remove those objects from the working set, and it should grade them all out so you can be able to tell if you got them. Because if I do a save at this point, I will save with an extra table, and I'll have wasted my time. I want to remove those from the working set, come back up here, and I'm going to say, now I can save the changes. We're all good to go. It's going to let me know it's about to save the XREF, right? So if the X, it's going to go out to the actual XREF drawing and save it, which is fine. I didn't make any changes. As long as you've removed these from the selection set, you are good to go. All right. So let me show you what I mean. If I come in here and select this, there's my XREF. And I come over here and I select this. These are all ready to go. I can make copies of this. I can move it. I can do it. I can make a block out of it if I want to. Really easy to work with. But if I was using the end copy command on this, I would have to grab these one at a time, which once again would only be good if I got paid by the hour, which I don't, although sometimes I wish I did. <laughs> anyway. So that's a sneaky way to go in using in-place XREF editing. I grabbed those objects, and now I'm ready to use them on my way to using them. Right? Easy enough. Love that. All right, so give it a try. I hope you like that too. And I am going to see you back here in two more weeks. Thanks for joining me.